welcome everybody. In case you're wondering why we're covered up, today's video topic is the video game Sunset. It is or was maybe available on Steam? It is still available on Steam. Um, the game itself is actually not the only um, topic for this video today. Um, this is a bit of news that I wrote about about a week ago that I wanted to talk about. Exactly. And, really quickly, uh, I just wanted to say that we're here! I figured it would be kind of awesome if we covered us up first with the sunset photo and then proceeded to show ourselves. I was trying to be clever. And also, so, um, I will be mostly quiet during this video. It will m mostly involve Phoenix letting us know what's going on because he knows more about the game. He's played it and written reviews about it. So, yeah, here you go. Um, which I will link you to the article I wrote about this topic, as well as the review for the game. It'll be in the description, and I'll probably do a notation about it um, somewhere in here, too. Um, if I can figure out how to link notations to things other than videos, because I haven't been able to figure out how to do that yet. I but anyway, don't know. Um, anyhow, also, Glitchy, feel free to ask questions or poke me. While I'm talking about this, because it's a fucking crazy ass topic. So, um, a little bit about the game itself. Um, Sunset puts you. It's a, it's a narrative game, it's a story based game. And it puts you in the role of a housekeeper in a war torn country that is currently dealing with rebellion. And you are working for this wealthy art minded um businessman and the game you actually do various housekeeping things um in the game and you can make choices such as whether um there's two distinct paths there's the more professional path and then you, there's also a more romantic style path where your character can actually fall in love and like become intimate with your employer. Um, which and I think is interesting. The idea of the game, which I thought was absolutely fantastic, was to show how everyday people deal with um, rebellions and, you know, um, war and that kind of thing. It's a really, the game itself, it's just, it's fucking amazing. It is. Um, and it was created by a um, two-person team that the company name is Tale of Tales. The company itself is no longer producing games because Sunset didn't sell very well. Which makes me sad because the game is really good. It, you know, it's not an action-packed game. It's not like, you know... Um, Dark Souls or any of these, you know, action-based games. It's a more subtle story-based, emotion-based narrative. And it's great. It is. And, I think it sounds quite interesting. And sadly, it kind of exemplifies one of the hazards of indie development. Because sometimes... If you're an indie developer, people love your game, and they go out and they buy tons and tons of copies, such as Shovel Knight or The Binding of Isaac. I don't care for either of those games. Um, you know, some indie games get really popular. Thomas Was Alone. Um, ah, yes. You know, things like that. But this one, despite having glowing reviews, very little bugs when it came out, unlike some AAA games that are completely riddled with bugs when they Gotham, released. Gotham Arkham was, Knight, or Batman, which rather. is currently, which is currently in the news. Um, I read about that one too, actually. Um, Batman Arkham Knight literally had the PC versions pulled from the sh from the Steam stores and other access points because of how buggy it was. Get it in your heads, gamer gaming companies. PC gamers are here. We're out there. And sometimes it's the only fucking way we can game. Well, and 
to be fair, the company that created Batman Arkham Knight is notorious for not doing very well on PC ports. Well, that's because they are assholes. But, the game itself was very well done as far as Batman Arkham Knight goes, in my opinion. Oh. I've watched a playthrough of it, um, and they are working to fix the issues. Yes. So, I mean, that some developers don't. They just say, this is what you got. Yeah. And so, I, you know, you do have to give them a little bit of credit for that. Um, I, didn't, back to... I didn't find Tomb Raider to be a very well thought out PC, have a very well adjusted PC version. No, it's, it's definitely... Well, the controls themselves are definitely suited more for... For a, a controller. Um, yeah, controller. Uh, um, perfect example. Yeah. Where you have to kick a wolf away from you that's trying to met eat your fucking face. You have to fucking, fucking repeatedly click. like click, 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 and I, and every time I would do it, and I was doing it, and I was doing it, and even when my boyfriend did it, it still ate my face. Which I'm just gonna say, we will do eventually a video on quick time events because things Whoa. like that are absolutely annoying and and jumping opinion, puzzles. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I don't mind those so much, but fucking... They were a nightmare events. in Wildstar, honestly. Well, yeah. Mm. Um, and eventually we will do a video on... Um, I'd like to do, like, a series of more gaming-related stuff. Um, Definitely. But back to... Top of your hand. So... The problem with Sunset was that it only sold 4,000 copies, including the ones that went to Kickstarter backers. That's not much at all. That's really it's... bad. And what's worse is that Tale of Tales spent more on marketing and PR than they did on making the game itself. And really? they basically put themselves in the hole because they because thought they didn't make the nearly game... enough back. Right. And they thought the game was going to do very well because they stood behind their product. And, and it sounds like a very good game, and it sounds like it's very well controlled and whatnot. And it's one of the best indie games that I've played all year long. <laughs> yeah, I remember um, you telling me you, you didn't think it was going to be good at first, and then you sat there to play it for maybe an hour or so, and then you ended up playing it for like six hours straight. Yeah, because when you think about it, somebody tells you, oh, oh I played this game where um, I play a housekeeper, and you're kind of looking at it and you're going... Yeah, I definitely was kind of like, wait, retarded. what? That retarded. You're like, that sounds just stupid. Yeah, but it, really, it sounds off-putting, but... It's such a deep story that it sucked me in. It did. Mm -hmm. Sadly, and, and I have mixed feelings about the developer now, because <gasps> after... After what you told me. After the failure, the commercial failure of Sunset, some things came to light that are disconcerting. Mm, it's um, terrifying, even. The developer um, is a two-person development team. Michael Samin and Oria or Harvey. I'm probably butchering these names. Mm. Um, if you check out the articles, you'll actually see them spelled and you can look them up for yourselves. Um, but apparently they originally started making games to create art pieces, art forms in the gaming medium. This is not the only game they've made, but all of their games have not done as well as they would like, and Sunset was their last ditch effort to really make a AAA, or a or a, a, a profit and a proper game for gamers. Um, now, now, see, that's a that's one huge thing. They failed to. I, I think that they failed to realize not a lot of people care too much about the artwork, and that is sad. That's sad and just and, you know and depressing because the artwork in this game alone is beautiful. But maybe, maybe, maybe people felt that they focused too much on the artwork. No, I think what it was, was that they looked at the premise and didn't bother to look deeper than that. Yeah, exactly. 
They judged the book by its cover. And they shouldn't have, even if it is a gloriously done cover. Now, what I'm about to, say, to tell you, this... I have mixed feelings. The game is fantastic. But, but the reaction by the creator of the game is most assuredly off-putting. Yeah, I, I have an issue with the developer. Um, I do not support their current stance on the gaming industry. Um, but I, I just wanted to put a disclaimer there. Because the game is fantastic. And I know after I'm done, people will say, well, I don't want to give these people my money. But... And ultimately, that's your decision, but hear us out. Yeah, he hear me out when I say that it's worth a try. The game itself is worth a buy. Even if you don't want to support the developers or, you know, their actions, that's fine. Don't support them. Support a good game. Do it for yourself. Exactly. Because I promise you, when it's over, when you're done playing it, You'll be you happy. will definitely, you'll be happy about it, and you'll have loved it, and it will be something that you're emotionally invested in. Mm. Now, the part that are off-putting is that when the game critically failed, so to speak, commercially failed, Michael Samine, whatever you want to call it, monetarily, um, Michael Samine opened a Patreon page. And has, and has decided that, well, first off, Tale of Tales, the two-person team, decided they were not creating games anymore. They were done. They, de they were done. They decided they were done. Which I think is premature, and a little bit childish, honestly. Well, and I thought it was kind of sad, because I really enjoyed Sunset. However, after seeing their, their reaction... Maybe the gaming industry is better off because uh, yeah, because honestly, when um, you told me what was said, I definitely sat there like, I'm scared. Oh God, is this guy gonna like turn serial killer? Because basically, what happened was Michael Samine and his I think they may be married. I'm not positive about this. Nope. Um. Decided to stop commercial production of games and Michael Samin opened up a patreon and His the goal for his patreon page is to annihilate the gaming industry as we know it That's his own words Not mine Those are a direct quote the annihilation of video games as we know them I'm not entirely that is sure his. you sent me the right link for his Patreon. I will link it to you again. Is he, is it Zilf? Because... Oh no, that is not the right one. Please <laughs> tell me you did not show that on camera. No, I did not, thankfully. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I that opened that and I was like, wait one. a minute. Uh, this, this is good no. stuff. What? <laughs> um, anyway, that, that is a direct quote. Something else that happened, which the tweets have now been deleted, and I did not include this in my article, but I did see this firsthand. Basically, they lost their shit on Twitter and said that the gaming industry is full of assholes, fuck the gaming industry, fuck gamers, and that they were done. To quote from said Patreon account for Michael Sam Samine or whatever, however you say it, I really don't know, I've never heard it before. Pledge one dollar or more per article. The follower, he says, this is what the follower gets. You get to consider yourself a contributor to the destruction of video games as we know them without hurting your wallet. Pledge five dollars or more per article. You get to read my articles before anybody else. Ten dollars, you get to read my articles before anybody else and I will pay attention to any comments, blah, blah, blah. But if you pledge a dollar, now get that this. first fucking definition of what you get as by just pledging one dollar, the destruction of video games as we know them. That's crackpot. Now, okay. That, yeah, it is. And frankly, that, as a gamer, I, I, it, there's not a whole lot that offends me. Oh lord, you are frozen. Hold on. I got it, I got no. it. Your voice um, was working, but lot. the video tied us. 
said it. Fuck off. There's not a whole lot that offends me. N not really. But as a gamer, when I read that, I was offended. Literally, I'm because... sitting here reading this, and I'm just, I'm just kind of blown away. Honestly, this is hideous. Because, because gaming is a part of my life. It's a part of my career. And honestly, I used to be, like me personally, I was very anti-gaming because of what the community seemed to be. And the people, you know, the gaming people that I had interacted with were inappropriate in vastly different ways, but all inappropriate to, to some extreme degree. But here, sitting here reading this, and you know, I've gotten to know gamers like Phoenix. I've gotten to know gamers like my boyfriend and honestly my boyfriend got me into World of Warcraft because he actually just said babe I'll do this for you he, he kind of bribed me I'm not gonna lie I will do this for you if you sit down and try it so I did and, and then we ended up both buying Minecraft in beta or alpha and played it for like 18 hours straight only time we got up was to go to the bathroom and on top of that, I mean, Glitchy's a gamer now. I've I bought am. her games. <laughs> I have, yes. um, I, I have geeked out about my favorite games with her. Um, because And some of games... his favorite games have become my favorite games, like Dragon Age Inquisition. And, you know, games have brought people together for me. I've met mm -hmm. some of my best friends because of video games. So have I. Um, I literally I met part... Phoenix because I started streaming video games. And I have helped with the raising of money for good causes because of video games. This? Live streams. This support Michael Salmon, this Patreon, is not a good cause. This is a man yeah. who has spiraled into the oblivion of idiocy and insanity. He, he's not an okay person at the moment. He needs and while help. We're talking, and while we're on the subject of Michael Salmon, Glitchy... Direct your attention to the five thousand dollar per article incentive. Oh Jesus! What? The the headline of it is "Shut me up." Five thousand uh. dollars per article. You can silence me by simply not supporting this Patreon. But if you really want me to disappear from video games altogether, stop writing about them. But also stop stop, stop trying, trying to, to make, make them. them. Basically, get Basically, the f out of your precious hobby. All it takes is a bit of cash. Make my day. What kind of fucking narcissist <laughs> is this person? Because I'm sorry, I would not give him the penny I pulled out of my pants pocket after I shit myself. <laughs> Much less $5,000. Whether it shut him up or not, I wouldn't give him the satisfaction of Honestly, having Honestly, he my says it right money. there. You could, the first thing he says is, you can silence me by simply not supporting this Patreon. Bye! Done. 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 Hey, I'm, I don't support you. I think you're fucking ridiculous. I think you need to grow the fuck up and understand that not everybody makes it. Shit happens. And Look at the $2,500 one. Put your money where your, where, wh okay, sorry, sorry. Put your money where my mouth is. I will continue writing, but I will also create games in an attempt to address all my issues with the medium Beyond caring about commerce, excuse me, beyond caring about commerce or success or accessibility or whatever may have diluted my work in the past. Excuse me? Now, make your fucking mind up. Are you going to stop making games or are you going to keep it up? Which is it? Now, okay. I, I actually want to address. He, he probably won't ever watch this, but I want to address this clearly. Michael Salmon, I love Sunset. Your games. And I was fantastic. interested in owning a copy. This? And frankly, I frankly, don't I would probably, frankly, I would probably buy another copy to give as a gift. But your actions, what you've said. Your blatant you... disregard and disrespect to the people who you want support from, aka gamers, is atrocious. It is. And frankly, it kind of makes me feel like I could have been an idiot for supporting your game. 
for giving you such a glowing review, only for you to turn around. And I read that review, and it was, mind you, let me say, quite, quite well done, and it really was a glowing, fucking positive review. And then... And you you're... turn around and you shit on me like this. Exactly, you're shitting on him and his glorious review of your game by basically calling us all idiots. I'm and sorry. Let me make myself clear. If I buy another copy of Sunset, it will not be for you. I hope you choke on the dollars that get spent on that game. It will be because I want somebody else to have the joy that your game brought me. It won't be for you, it'll be for them. And that's just how it is. Um, and here- And frankly- Go ahead, hmm? go ahead, go ahead. I, I think you need help, sir, frankly. And I agree. It's fucking delusional to have such a hateful opinion of, of the gaming industry and then expect people to sp spend $5,000 for our- Expect gamers to, dumbass up. to spend money on you. Do, and you, do you understand people... the irony here, or like whatever the fuck you want to say? You know, you need help. You need you help. Do. You I mean... really do need help. Look at this. Look at this. You want to sit there and you want to bitch and moan at us for at us gamers, and I don't mean just the two of us here. I mean gamers around the world. Until this is directly from your front page of your Patreon. Until now, nothing much has changed in video games. And I don't see a bright future for this medium if some radical changes don't happen soon. I am ready to share my views on this and the broader economic, political, and so social content. Context, sorry. I have no commercial interest in the game industry anymore. I have nothing to lose. I can safely bite the hand that was unable to feed me. But Excuse I only care if you me? do. You read that next line? But I only care if you do. I did not actually see that. But I so only care if you do. A long list of talk topics. I can English. A long list of topics I am, I am eager to discuss has been piling up for years. Really? Really? It's been piling up for years? Why the fuck didn't you say anything sooner? You're fucking sitting here bad mouthing everybody in the gaming industry. Everybody. And what you're doing is telling us that you cowered like an injured, kicked animal or a frightened child behind these people because you wanted money. And that's exactly what happened. He didn't cower, he sold out. Exactly, because this is literally what you, you are telling happy, us. You, you, you are sitting here telling us that you sold out because you wanted money, you kept your mouth shut. Because you weren't happy with the way the gaming industry was and yet you put out games anyway. Frankly, thank you for Sunset, it was fucking great, but. I personally won't buy out. the game. No matter how good of a review it's been gotten, been given the game itself, your actions, your disrespect, your venomous hatred towards the people who make you the fucking money in the first place, aka gamers, I'm not gonna buy it myself. I'm not gonna pay for it. And honestly, if if Phoenix offered to buy it for me right this second, I would honestly tell him no. Because I don't want him to spend any more of his hard-earned money reviewing video games to go toward you. Now, because of your massive on, disrespect. Now, when the winter sale comes, if it goes on sale for a dollar, oh, maybe. or, you know, however much, I'll get it, because I want Glitchy to experience it, because it was great. And frankly, that's what you should be getting out of this, Michael Samine. You brought joy to the 4,000 people who bought your game. You bought And yet, you just. You, you shit, shit on, on all of them. Shit on all of us. When really, when really, yes, it was a commercial loss. But you touched people. You sit here and, and you say and claim that you wanted to make art and you wanted to make people feel things. You got what you wanted. You just didn't get paid for it. And see, that's the thing though. To say that you wanted to touch people and to make art and then to turn around and shit on people like this, you didn't want to make art. You didn't want to touch people. You wanted to you make wanted money. money. And then when you didn't get it, you threw a hissy You turned it. your back. You turned your back on what you stood for, or you said you stood for. And you threw a hissy fit. 
because that's what I see when I look at this painting. My children page. are more well behaved than you. I see a huge hissy fit on this Patreon page. I don't see... I, I just... I see somebody that's just... Having a tantrum. Somebody's having a tantrum. Self-destructing because they're mad. And if you and... look at it, if you look at it, in his thing, where he... In the first... Let's see. It, it, I believe it's the first paragraph. Yeah, it's literally the first fucking paragraph. In 2002, I chose to use video games as an artistic medium. Ooh, sorry, I just dropped my I just dropped my eye drops. The more I got to know the technology, the industry, the creators, and the audience, the less I liked what I saw. And yet, you still produced games for this industry that you disliked. That is a definition of a sellout, or one of the now, definitions. And, then let me finish. Let me finish this. real quick. Sorry, sorry. There's a point to this. He goes on in this first paragraph to say. I used to be quite vocal about this until I noticed that people seemed to hate me so much that they didn't want to play our games. And our games is a link. The words, our games, is literally a link to Tale so of Tale even, video games. So even in this venomous ass Patreon, you're still trying to get people to buy your games. Exactly. It literally takes you to this page, Tale of Tales, their website, which is, ignore my other little... <laughs> my bookmarks it takes you to there and here immediately you see home video games about contact and store where he's still charging money and he still wants people to buy his things and and, and i want you to think about he's this now too. trying to sell them on a website called itch.io he's got merchandise he's got the video game store now, don't get me wrong, I know some great indie developers that sell games off of itch.io. I've never even heard of it, mind you, but that's beside the point. It, it, it's a fairly indie thing. Um, Which is fine. I don't even know about it. Indie is awesome. Some some great yeah. things come from indie, you know, creators. And, and I want you to think about this, too. How many artists themselves that do paintings or drawings starved for a good portion of their career before they became commercially successful. But you didn't see them throwing a hissy fit saying they hated the entire artistic community. Mm -hmm. Some people didn't sell well, and so they stopped making art altogether to sell and chose a different career. Others hit the big time and started selling their paintings. Mm -hmm. But you don't see people shitting on people they're trying to reach. And frankly, if you wanted the gaming industry to change, this is not the way to change it. Mm. Because as soon as you got pissy and you started doing this kind of shit, everybody that you could have reached, their ears shut off. Like they're me. not hearing a fucking word you they're not hearing a fucking word you are saying. You literally All it have is become is a Charlie Brown teacher with a shitty attitude. You're basically just spouting diarrhea of hate. And that's that not how you get to. proper attention. And I notice that people have Although we become... hate sometimes. <laughs> and, and, and I notice that people have actually... 73 patrons have raised $375 per article. But I can bet you... It took you, 75 people to get you even... Over $300. And I can bet you that at least half of those don't even play video games to begin with. Probably not. And I'll bet you most of them, over half of them, are anti-gamers. Probably. Even, uh, but I have to say, though, even when I was anti-gaming, the sheer disrespect you had, I would not have supported you even back then. And I'm a hateful and person oh, for a lot of things. And, you know, I take extremes in a lot of things, but that's just... Unfortunately, that's how I am, and I... I I've changed a lot over the years, but still, I gotta say, dude, I don't even know you, and I hate you. I'd punch you in the face and, if I could. And what's funny about this is that... I don't hate anybody. To be entirely honest. Um, My chair keeps sinking! 
I find that hate, hate takes a whole lot of energy. <laughs> I hate that I, I, I find that hate takes a whole lot of energy that I just don't have to spend. Right, right, right. I would much rather treat people with kindness or not interact with them at all. You know, if I don't like you, you won't find me interacting with you for very long. This is very true. And if I get to know you and I like you, good luck getting rid of me. Ha 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 ha! Glitchy knows this. Glitchy knows this already. Which is why we um, mesh well together, because we're both the same way. If I don't like you, I'm really not going to interact with you. If I like you, good luck finding a way to stop talking to me. Hey! But, frankly, you know... I don't like you, dude. This guy, you know, the people that... The people that pay our patrons probably don't play games anyway. Mm -hmm. And they're probably 73 sad, lonely people that don't realize how much good that video games can do for people. Exactly. And how many people I've... it does bring to better... To get... Together? Together. 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 In a good way. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at, look at, I know you don't like Markiplier, and I've brought him up before, but look at the things he's done. He literally has people, dying children, making wishes to see him. You yeah. meet him. And Jacksepticeye, you know, we both, both, you know, like, He's hilarious, and he's got... Honestly, I've had really shitty down days. I, I, due to personal life and, you know, things like that. I've had things that go wrong, and I've had moments where everything seems bleak and there's no point. But you know what I do? I get on YouTube. I watch people play video games and make commentary. Or I play a game myself. Yeah. And I... I know it sounds cliche, but I kill shit for fun in video games. I, I, I feel a sense of accomplishment when, because I'm technologically challenged in a lot of fashions, in a lot of ways, and I've never really been particularly good at video games because hand-eye coordination or I get really lost really easily on maps and games. <clears throat> it happens. But when I get shit done in a game that I've been struggling with, I feel a sense of accomplishment. And that makes me happy too. So, for this guy to sit here and say that gaming does nothing and, you know, it's it's bullshit and blah 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 blah. No, dude. You're just shitty. And you got into the industry for the wrong fucking reasons. No matter how yeah. you paint it up. And, you know, I'm interested, slightly interested, to know what the other half of Telltales thinks about games. Um, because I wonder if you share the same philosophy, or if... If she saw this that you're doing right here, if she would be as appalled as I am. Or if she would be because... as offended, or I guess pissed off as I am. Because honestly, like I said, before I ever saw this, I wanted to play your game. I wanted to check it out, and hearing the things that Alex would tell... Phoenix would tell me about it... Made me interested. Your game sounds good, and honestly, I think if you had waited a lot longer... Before going on this fucking shit fit, word of mouth could have gotten you a lot more attention. Yeah. But you just and... you just shit all over yourself, dude. I mean, really, you shot yourself in the foot. Any other fucking euphemism or s term or whatever for screwing yourself over, all apply to you right now, dude. Because seriously, you fucked up. And you know, for people like me who couldn't go out and play sports as a kid, or, you know, things like that. <laughs> People like me who are dangerous to be around involving sports. You know, I couldn't get up and, you know, go run outside and climb a tree. Video games were my sanctuary. They were where I was able to step into the shoes of somebody else, even for a little while, and enjoy a new experience, a new world, that maybe helped me get away from every day yeah and then then, then to have somebody like this Come shit and on the shit hobby on our hobbies you know and the industry that i love so much you know don't get me wrong 
There are a lot of shitty ass gamers out there. There are a lot Ooh. of assholes in the gaming industry. There's a lot of assholes there... in anything. That's just how the fucking yeah. world is. And there's a lot of twelve year olds and thirteen year olds that play online games I that are really immature. As shit. Life. They're immature as shit and they're assholes. But you know what? That's how things are. It's just And yeah. if you don't like those people, you don't play with those people. Or you ignore those people and you enjoy that your game on your own. Or with friends that actually give a shit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the gaming industry isn't perfect. There's a, a lot going shot. on. You know, there there are things going on that are problematic. Um, but there's also a lot of good. Exactly. There's a lot of bright spots. You know, and. and like I said, I, I would love to do another, uh, you know, a series of videos on the channel about video games. Talk oh, about yeah. good video games. What makes a good video game? What Talk we about enjoy bad about video, video games, games and why they're bad. Yeah. Talk about things that really shouldn't be in video games anymore. Mm -hmm. And, you know... We can talk about these things politely. In a calm educated <laughs> well in, in an educated fashion without there's a, difference shitting. Between, there's a difference between being a raging douchebag and being passionate about something and dude you cross the line yeah and in my opinion you were angry and you threw you your hands up in the air hurt. and you said you got butt hurt you threw your heads up in the air and said fuck it and you just decided to burn every bridge that you could possibly burn. Mm -hmm. And I kind of feel bad for you because you are so consumed with hatred for the the gaming industry that you don't see the, the good that you created. And, you know, like I said, if it goes on sale, I'll buy another copy, at least one. And I'll spread it to people who will enjoy it, because... And honestly, I gotta say, another thing being that if, if, if it ever was purchased for me, I'm going into this game, I or I would be going into this game, with your actions plaguing everything. Yeah. And I'm going and into frankly, it with, you know, a, a, a lousy opinion of it, because you're a lousy person. And and you've you've tainted the great thing you've created. Yeah. And, and like I said, if I do buy another copy, I won't be buying it for you. I'll be buying it for the person that I want to play it. And if I ever played it, I wouldn't be playing it for you. Cause you're an asshole. Hell, you may see us play it. You may see Glitchy play it, and me commentate while she plays. Yeah. And but... us just enjoy it, you know, as a game. Not created by you, but as a game. As a game, separate, and... We would just have to sit there and, you know, consider it as... Perfect example, the Twilight, the Twilight books are separate from the Twilight movies, and that's the only way you can enjoy either one. Which, I'm not yeah. saying that I'm a Twilight fanatic or anything like that. What I'm saying is, it's an example of... Well, actually, I suppose I should have said Harry Potter. Because the Harry Potter books are great. They are phenomenal. They're amazing. The Harry Potter movies are great and phenomenal and amazing. As long as you don't sit there and pick apart everything that's missing from the movies. Think of them as yeah. separate things that are just based on the books. And if you can keep them separate, Then you're they're fine. both fantastic things to see and, you know, experience. And I think that would be the only way to experience a game you created. If I don't fucking think about you and your shitty, shitty ways, then maybe I'll like the game. Yeah. And... But that's a long shot. But yeah, you know, that that's... And people watching... I want you guys to finish watching this video and go come away with it that... What he created was great experience, and I encourage you, if you happen to 
feel like it, find it, play it, and enjoy it. Because it, regardless of how it's been tainted, it's still one of the best indie games I've played all year. And don't let his actions and his crap handling of it dim or lower your opinions of other indie creators. No, He's just because, one in a million. Yeah, and indie creators work hard for what they make. And they put their heart and soul into it. And, and sometimes, not everybody's just in it for the money. And sometimes they sell well. And then other times it's like this, where they don't. But I can tell you that the ones that don't sell very well, they don't normally shit on everybody like this. And they don't this attack the people just... who give them money. This guy you know, is so, I mean... an asshole. So I think that we'll end the video here because we are at 40 minutes. And, well, 41 oh, minutes. Dear God. <laughs> we are passionate about this subject. So we're going to end it here. Um, yeah. If you have opinions on this, let us know. And if you're, you know, if you have an opinion that you want to tell this person, this guy, let him know. And please, for the love of God, if it's a negative opinion over his actions, tell him. Yeah. Otherwise. And we'll include information the articles that I wrote Linking and the, the Patreon. To his Patreon. Please don't give this guy any money. Please. No. He's a horrible example of humanity, really. But you can contact him through this Patreon, and I encourage you to, um... Let him know he's a douchebag. Let him know what you think. Yeah. All right. One way or the other. Yeah. So, we're gonna end it now. Please subscribe. Tell us what you subscribe. want to see more of. Um, constructive criticism is always welcome. Do you have any suggestions, any questions? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe. Goddamn. Yeah. <laughs>